Hello guys, welcome back to the crew of Wild Run. Driving our cars part number 69, the Mini Counterman Cooper S. Sort of a small SUV version of the normal Mini. And that's also, uh, well, I mentioned it already in the previous video. The normal Mini has pretty good road specs, uh, specifically street and circuit. Not sure which one is the better performance spec though. Um, will it be the normal Mini or this one? We will see. Uh, Off-road, the Mini has a dirt spec. This Countryman is available in dirt and raid. And seeing it is sort of the off-road SUV version of the Mini, it will also be better. Normal Mini for the road specs and this Countryman for the dirt and off-road specs. That's sort of what I would go for. Although this one is not, um, well, maybe in rate it could be um, an option, but other than that, it's not really um, outstanding in certain spec. It's not the case with the normal one, where which is one of the top three in street. And also the circuit one is somewhere in the top 5, top 10 for others maybe, but personally I think it's top 5 in circuit spec. Top 3 is street spec, but no. This one is a bit different. It's a little heavier than the normal Mini, it also has a street spec. And um... Although the normal Mini is top 3, this one not really, it's a bit too heavy, which makes it uh, all a bit less, a bit less acceleration probably, a bit less handling and a bit less brakes and a bit less top speed and stuff like that. For the road versions, for the off-road versions it will be the other way around. Uh, let's start with the street one. All four on the door, suggesting it has four wheel drive. Sort of has. Twenty six point one we had in the normal mini which was um, the second fastest after the Skyline, give or take the bikes, of course. Well, also the Raptor did 25.7, I just saw here. Normal Mini did 26.1, so we'll see. Uh, I'm guessing this is a bit heavier, it might be a bit slower. Other than that, they uh, it's also the Cooper S version, so they have the same engine. 26.3, so we lose like um, 2 tenths on the weight compared to the normal Mini. But still, 26.3 is pretty fast, comparable with an Abarth Silverado Camaro 69, they all did times around 26.3. And um, here we're sort of stuck there. I think I need to already in the dirt spec now. Took a little jump here because uh, I got stuck in the black screen there. Twenty-seven point two eight eight for the dirt spec. That is seven tenths faster than the normal mini, and it's. Uh, we have a few 26 cards though, although only 3 or 4. So also here the acceleration is pretty decent. The performance one... Not sure... Um, 
which one is the best here? The normal mini 23.621, which is sort of in the middle of the pack. Seems to have a strong nose, this one. Twenty three point six three nine. That's twenty seven thousandths of a second slower than the normal one, so they are sorta of equal in performance, at least acceleration wise. But overall, compared to the other performance pick, also this one sorta of in the middle of the pack. Let's take a look at the race pack, which uh, probably will be the best use. It tends to flip over occasionally, it's sort of um, the Dakar version. We have um, well, 28.9 from the KTM bike. We have two cars, the Camaro 69 Silverado with 29.9. Other than that it's 30 or 31. For some reason all these rate specs kind of limit at 241, 242 kilometers an hour here on the bond wheel. Strange. Nevertheless, 30.1, which is uh, on the faster sides, it's comparable with the Z4 and the Escalade. Also has a quick response, um, but since this weighs a bit more than the normal version of the Mini, it kinda, well, it's all going to be a bit slower. Also the brakes not that good, seeing it has the weight, it kinda takes longer to uh, bring it to a standstill. Kinda normal all, uh, all of that. A bit more weight and it has the same engine, so can't expect it to be faster then. The normal one slightly suffered a bit from um, understeer, but this one, yeah, have to go off throttle here. Due to the weight, it's suffering more from the understeer in the countryman here. A bit slower in acceleration, so I probably think it will also be a bit slower um, top speed wise. Which is all logic, seeing it weighs more. And that will probably also have uh, more of an impact on the dirt section, which makes this countryman a little better than the normal Mini on dirt or uh, on off road.
bit slow in acceleration and on speed and then yeah knowing that the normal mini is um, one of the better specs in street this one is sort of average I guess British qualifiers uh, where you can choose between the two most of the time just go for the normal one in street spec performance spec mm. well I don't know I think they are sort of equal which kind of makes this one a bit better um, seeing it weighs more and they are doing equal times in acceleration and uh, also in top speed they won't be far uh, away from each other And seeing this one um, has four wheel drive, that's always better for traction. So, uh, in performance, I would go for this one. If the options were uh, the Mini and the Countryman. Because overall, both the Mini as this Countryman are kind of average in the middle of the pack of the performance cars. With a bit of work you can uh, probably make this thing oversteer a bit more. If you can keep it going. If you sort of go off throttle then you are uh, dealing with a bit of an understeer. But even if you end up uh, just slightly next to the road, this thing has four wheel drive, so it's not a big issue. Pretty long fifth gear. going over 400 kilometers an hour which is pretty good for a um, performance spec on that section of our little test track Little understeer in some corners, little oversteer in other corners. Nope. Average car in performance spec. Just like uh, the street one. Then we go off road uh, where the store that this thing is made for. Sort of the off road version of the mini. Normal mini in dirt speak, uh, well, sort of only had the uh, top speed, was kind of okay. Other than that, it had not much going for itself. Being heavier, um, doing jumps like we just did, and also there are a few more upcoming. The landing should not really be a problem.
It's a little bit better than the normal one in dirt. But also, well, it's not like it's an outstanding car or something. Um, but for a British qualifier, and we get the option of a, of a dirt spec, yeah, then you're gonna end up with the normal mini and this counterman. Then you probably have to go for this one. Just gonna be a little bit faster in the end uh, than the normal one. But in an open competition where you can use all the cars, also this one is not going to break a record or so. So there is a 5 doors mini, um, which is also available in the real world now. For a long time it only uh, existed in a 3 doors version, but... So if you compare it to the 5 doors version, this is just, uh, well... On a bit higher feet. A bit higher uh, or bigger suspension, which makes it... A bit higher uh, above the road, but uh, other than that... the same uh, mini actually same engines and so on so uh, sort of a prestige thing I think that people buy this car but if they have a country house or something Although most of these things will be seen within the city. It's not made for uh, cruising around in the mountains, it's just uh, it's more of a looks thing than anything else, I guess. Handling uh, is more than okay, it's just uh, it's, it's a bit too slow. And they also, uh, just like the normal one, they kind of like a bit of top speed as well, not only acceleration. The better specs can do 320 or even, if you sort of time it all a bit. These things you can get 310, 315 and that's about it I think. In dirt it is better than the normal mini, but compared to others, not really. Also average again. Which brings us with the rate spec and that is... Um, also there you have better cars, but at least this one is the best use for this countryman, the rate spec. It is a bit small, um, and that also results in it having a pretty good top speed or high speed. Especially when it in crew uh, events and stuff like that. This thing can easily go over 300 km an hour. But because it's uh, pretty small, if the terrain gets a bit rougher, it tends to flip over occasionally and that's a bit of a downsize of course. So 
sort of the Dakar version. I, I don't know if 2016 there were minis in the Dakar, but the last couple of years there were, and I think they even won uh, the Dakar rally. It's called Dakar now, and it used to call Paris Dakar, but you're not moving. Um, what was it? From Paris to Dakar, they sort of they sort of drove in a peloton from uh, France to the south of Spain, and then took a boat to uh, either Morocco or uh, Algeria, depending on the year. And then the race started through the desert through uh, the finish in Senegal, which capital, Dakar. But the last couple of years, the Dakar Rally, as it's called now, moved to um, South America. Argentina, Chile, um, that's sort of the region where they hang out now. Always 2-3 weeks, uh, somewhere in uh, January. Keep smoothly going. Even if you go off road, smoothly keeps going. You just have to be careful a bit that you don't hit um, little rocks or something, because then it can easily flip over. But on terrain like this, it's not really a big issue. Let's see, we can slightly go in next to the rocks. That's always better. If you have the option to go next to it, big jumps. Little lift of, of the real uh, wheels, but other than that, keeps going. So it is pretty decent one. And I'm not so even sure um, that top speed is that superb um, if you do it in or use it in solo runs. But it is one of the faster ones if you. Use it in crew events. Which I'm sleep stream it can reach 310 or 315 even I think so. Um, over 300 for sure. That means that yeah, for this countryman, this is uh, the best use. The rate spec. Compared to the others, I don't know, there are not that many rate specs, uh, I don't even know by heart, but around 20 or something, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. Then this is uh, probably 5th or 6th or something, maybe 4th, and on some traps, maybe top 3. That was it for this video, the Mini Countryman average in general best use the rate spec. See you guys in the next one and bye for now.